Hey guys, this is a video like that, and I'll show you uh, my thoughts, okay? The Philippines right now elected uh, Bong Bong Marcos, the son of Ferdinand Marcos. Which, you know, uh, he came from a controversial family. I grew up during the Marcos era in the Philippines. And my, in a way, because, and my, in my, uh, in my uh, experience with them and the Marcos, it's good. I felt safe. Economy was good. It was the best childhood in my life. And uh, that was my best, I think it was my best childhood that I enjoyed. You know, bar none like that, okay? When I left, it was 1986 when he, when he left uh, Malacanang Palace. And people uh, are always saying that, you know, in the Philippines, that he did this, did that, did that, you know, we call it, you know, but overall, he improved the Philippines. Uh, and he improved so much of that, that it became, uh, in a way, called the, one of the best destinations for uh, you know, for people around the world. Okay, if we go back then, in the 60s, where will it go? Let's go to Asia. Where is the first place you want to go? Tokyo! Under Marcos did that, he put the infrastructure, okay? You know, uh, he put the national highway. He put, uh, what you call this, uh, you, know, uh, you know, a beautiful uh, downtown. Imagine that, okay? He, he put a heart, you know, a, heart uh, a heart hospital for the poor. He built houses for the poor. You know, that, and that's a lot, of, you, know, you know, and... Do you see any persons doing that right now? Building out, you know, uh, helping the poor out like right now? No. You know, because, you know, they're busy, you know, they're busy, uh, they're busy helping, you know, special interest groups. No. Under Marco, everything was fine. The reason why, you know, they detracted him because the oligarchs of the Philippines that did one, one thing. They want to keep the Filipino people down. Because in relation to that, you know, it's like the, we call it the, you know, uh, the monkeys, the tree syndrome. The ones on top monkeys get on top. They won't shoot bananas to people with the other monkeys in the bottom. And that's the thing with that. That was the bad thing about that. You know, and he shared the village vision that he wants to raise Filipinos up. Okay, and that's the thing. And uh, when he did that, a lot of you know, oligarchs didn't want that. They didn't want anybody that you know smarter than them or, or, or you know, overtake them, and then we call us that and replace them. That's you know, a selfish thing. Okay, it, it happens around the world, okay? You know, look at England, okay? They still uh, have aristocracy. Look at Russia, they have oligarchies. And that's the thing, Marcos went against them. That's why they were smashing, you know, the smear because they're hiding their secrets. And they want to, you know, they say, oh, you flooded the country. Well, under uh, Cory Aquino, under, uh, what do you call this, uh, under uh, different presidents, did everything improve? No, they're pocketing the money. That's the thing, you know, because they say that they sold gold bricks. Well, if you can steal gold bricks of that, well, no, why then uh, they took him to took him to court? And guess what happened? And then we call us that they didn't find any gold bricks. You know, we call us they when they you know they supposed Mark was supposed to take gold bricks towards him to the Hawaii when he was ousted. Okay, that was the rumor. There's only one problem with that. Okay. How can you take gold bricks with you like that, okay, in a C-47 airplane to Hawaii? You know why? Those things are heavy, okay? And, and, and each time you bring something to that, the United States government customs will confiscate it for tax purposes. Okay? Okay, that's why we call this that. That's a bullshit, you know, thing that you, know, you flood the country to that. And, uh, and we call this a... Uh, and we call he had the gold. Bullshit! You enter, you know, you, 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 know, you, you enter the United States private of Nova territory, that gold will be confiscated. See, all these lies are that, you know, they did. Now, Bong Bong's now uh, become president of that, okay? Okay? Have you know, here's the thing I'll tell you something about, okay? He was, you know, uh, you know, uh, we call this, uh, he was, uh, you, know, you know, he was calm. He didn't need option to You know why? They're going to trap him. Like Trump over here, the uh, we call us, you know, uh, did he boast? No, he was, he was humble like his dad, smart like his dad too. He didn't have the oratory skills like his dad though. But one thing, he's gonna bring out what the you know continue the legacy of his dad. Remember, here's one thing: the yellows, okay? I know the yellows, in the Philippines. Yeah, they're an elite group of that, you know, of rich people, very rich people, okay. The, the children, you know, they, they, most of them are that spend most of their time in America. 
okay? They studied America. They went to uh, schools in America like that, and you know, and, and when you go to the Philippines, like that, you know, uh, they don't, they don't even, you know, uh, you know, they don't even, uh, they don't even want, they don't want, they don't want even, <clears throat> they don't even know what the Filipino life is about. You know, not the struggles. That's the yellow because the reason is that they don't want, uh, they don't want. You know, uh, the poor of that to go up with that because you know why they enjoy their perk up there, and that's the thing. And they are, and most of them are snobs, like the left over here. Snobs, most of them are we call this. Uh, they think that you know, uh, they, they bullshit, they can smear your bullshit their way to the top because most of them don't have any talent, okay? Over educated, but no talent. That's why that you know, you know, when he was elected, you know. They will, they will, they will uh, bring up the, his, this past of his father. His father, okay, you know, we call him a dictator, yeah. But under, you know, it was a war, a war with the communists because the communists decided, you know what, they will, they'll go for broke like that, and uh, in the seventies, and and uh, try to take over everything. Guess what? They never happened. Half of them were in prison, and those people complaining about, you know, the Marcos administration, how did they broke the law? Okay, if you're going against the government, of course they're gonna toss you in a jail. Okay, there's, there's two stories about it. Okay, one say, oh my my parents got uh, you know uh, you know tossed in jail. What were they doing? You know, okay, there's a reason why they were going against you with that. Okay, but you know because my dad okay, and my and always told me under the Marcus regime, whatever you're thinking, keep you keep it yourself because you're gonna be accused of something, and also. Always stay on the right side, and uh, and and he told me, look around you, okay. Beautiful, huh? It's bark to you, that okay. If you see what if you're such a thief like that, will you build the stuff for you? Will you build your national highway? We call this, a, you know, uh, you know, I know we call this, uh, we call this, uh, you know, uh, infrastructure. Even improve the military, okay. You know, the back then that you know the aircraft we call us most uh, used air most air we had uh, the best aircraft given to us by the United States government. Okay, and guess what? China will mess around with us because he, he you know Ferdinand Marcos went to uh, to China and negotiated you know a treaty with the Mao Zedong. Okay, and there's agreements to that you know until Mao Zedong died. The new leadership that they decide, you know, they want to push their way up to uh, into the international things that, you know. But Andrew Marcos, nobody had a war. He got along with everybody. That's the true thing. Even if you see Marcos that even got along with the, the with the king of Thailand. Okay? Shows you one thing. In the, you know, we call us that, you know, good true leaders are. A true leader is he gives in you know, he gives his way to you. Okay, look at Trump. Nobody paid him uh, he didn't even accept a salary. Okay, and he did, you know, because he, you know, he went through a lot of stuff like that. Same thing, same with Marcos. He went through a lot of stuff. A true leader to that, you know, people, you know, people are enemies resist change. But that's the thing. If you want to bring change, you got to do some sacrifices. Okay, right, guys, that's my thing for the day. And for those uh, in bunk, Mr. Mar Mr. Marcos, congratulations.